This is the cutting edge. I tell you, revolution is in the air, you know. So, how do you do? Open all right, you know. You know things are get bitter, but it still get sweet. The bitter and the sweet we have to take, you know. I have certain tastes where I make the whole thing perfect. Hot, pepper, bitter, sweet, sour. Yeah, man, all of them things that make life meaningful. This is the cutting edge and RFM today with you. You know, last week we was talking about this new development where England is concerned as it relates to reparation. We want to talk to Abridge in North Africa tonight, yeah. And continue that reasoning. Because really and truly, we're not letting it go. We're not letting it go at all because that development or underdevelopment is something that everybody should recognize as significant to how we go about getting reparation for all these traumatic experiences that we're going through. Even the modern day traumatic experiences derive from a historical reference point. We can't separate the things that may happen now with what did happen before. Even before we come upon this earth, yeah. There's certain things that did happen before we come upon the earth. So I uh, give thanks for being here, because it's only for people try to be here and them not here. So we give thanks for being here, you know them really. We can't really. Yeah. So as we I tell you about this reparation and the move that has now taken place and what we uncover that England was paying off a loan that was for the, the loss of revenue by the slave masters. And it was finished paid in February of 2015. And people tell us, say, slavery done a long time. We must forget about the long time past thing. Well, apparently... England never forget about it. That even Cameron come to Jamaica and tell us that slavery is a long time thing. We must move on. Well, apparently them was moving on because they must pay in reparation to slave owners up to 2015. Did you hear what I said? From the 18th century come right on till 2015. This is the 21st century we live in now. Loan, pant up a loan, pant up a loan. And a lot of these banks, a lot of these organizations that was built on the back of our ancestors, where them free the African, them, no land, no money, nothing, and expect them to go live. Every land that them live upon, them yes, them squatter. Because all of the land was owned by these plantation men and women and Queen Elizabeth. So we recognize now that something sinister was and is taking place as it relates to our redemption. And we must recognize this. And if we are a fool, fool, if we don't educate ourselves into, into understanding what is it that should be done, there are people who are struggling every day to make sure that this thing becomes relevant and become purposeful for all of us to understand. Reparation is something that we should take serious. The government should have it upon them agenda because we were bamboozled. We were bamboozled. When we go to school, we hear about the pilgrim progress. The pilgrims were a set of Irish people who was running from religious persecution. Some of them end up in Europe, some of them end up on in all the Americas. 
especially in the America. And when them reached there, so even though people was living there, <laughs> them never them was mindful of the people them that was living there. So they took the land as their new frontier for settlement, not giving recognition to the original inhabitants of the place. The Native American them feel it under the hands of these so-called founding fathers of the United Snake of America. Feel it. And them go there as Christians claiming to be wanting to civilize these so-called wild savages. Making movies. Movies of their progress. And a land that them captured is not for them own. So they went across the America and took away the land from the Native Americans and put them on reservation. Reservation. These so-called Christian-minded people came with the Bible to the Native Americans and them gone. Just like they did in Africa. And the story is now that they have the land, they have the wealth, and now everybody else is alien. Alien. There was a time when Mexico, Texas, and California was part of Mexico. And who make it what it is now? That even though the same landmass, Mexico is a different country from the United States. And now we hear border cut off and war going to build now if we keep out these savages, these murderers and thieves and rapists and all these things. Oh, make these people what they are today according to the America way of life. They stole the land. And anywhere them go, them thief land. Them go to India and divide up India and call one part Pakistan and one part India. And the people them in the thinking believe it's two different people. Like Dominican Republic and Haiti is one land. One landmass. But the people them in the Dominican Republic, you see them is different from the people them like Haiti because them clearer. They must run and control by the French. Sorry, the Spaniards. And one I said was controlled by the French. Look like St. Martin. Terrible a little island like St. Martin. Not even as big as St. Anya so. <laughs> I don't, ever be, I don't ever think it's big as Kingston. When I really get right down to it. But guess what? One side of it is controlled by the Dutch. And one side is controlled by the French. Imagine that. A man of a race. Two nations of a race. And the one who can run out most of the island. Control most of the island. That is how them get St. Martin, Dutch, Holland, and French, France. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Them go to Australia. The Aboriginal people wipe out, almost wipe them out, destroy them cultural practices and cultural heritage. And take with them land and call it Australia. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Them go to Africa. And still in Africa. Destroying the, the way of life of the people that was thousands of years before any Europe. And we recognize that reparation is a necessity and a moral obligation 
that should be rectified. We need to rectify it. In at this time, yeah. And not about to the youth them. Me a youth. Yeah, me is a youth. So me a fight for the youth them. And me a fight for myself, yeah, too. Me a fight for people when, when I die. People when I come before. We have to know that the young people them. I am a young person. Yes. And if I should live till I live a hundred, I still young. Forever young. So we are fight for the need to understand yourself as a people and see how humanity has regressed because of the atrocities that was and is still being played on the people them who's the rightful owner of their own destiny but because of some unscrupulous behavior by some people who claim that them white them feel them have a god-given right to human dignity and human life and what them can't control, them wipe out. And African people at sleep. The greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. And that is what we say happening now. Mind control. Mind control. This is the cutting edge you me we all have to understand and recognize the importance of this black african consciousness pan-african rastafari movement we have to understand how it relates to we are you as an individual we are talk to everyone. Because it's a long time we sit down here and show the people them certain things. And you have others who come before me who did show I certain things and I did recognize certain things and I could have it pass it on. Yet still, it come like a whole heap of ones never did come. The way other people them are going. The other people that go and come like Marcus Gavin never reach her. Come like Paul Bog never reach her. Nanny never reach her. Harriet Tubman never reach her. All the ones them who come before. And we have to keep regurgitating and keep doing the same thing over and over and over to make the people them recognize and look at. Only in a serious situation for hundreds of years. And we need to climb out of the pit. We need to climb out of the pit because the, the filth arise. I don't know where it arise from, but like a water in a well, the more you dig the hole, and the more water you see come up, well, it's not water come up and we are no, it's filth. And look like we love Walla in it. Before we try to come out of it. Too much away. Too much away come and gone. And black people still go like say. Everything unky donkey. Okie donkey. All right. It's not all right. It's not all right. To have me crack through the crevice. And go through the little pinhole. But. If one man free. If one man free and the others not free, no man can truly say that them free. You understand? Because we right say the freedom of one is dependent on the freedom of all. If one man is free and the others are not free, no man can truly say that he's free. Because the freedom of one is dependent on the freedom of all. So, we don't talk about no 
individual freedom. We are talking about a collective freedom. Liberation. And liberation must come by any means necessary. And that we are saying. Any means necessary it must come. Because things can go on so all the while. Must be a stop to it. All who are waiting for a man to come out of the sky. It's madness. Madness. No man not coming out of the sky come save we from this. And we have to save ourselves. White man, God can't save you from white man oppression. You have to save yourself. Pull up yourself out of the quagmire of decadence and crazy, crazy, crazy things are going on. Crazy things are going on. And we are one line of the craziness. As a matter of fact, the more we are one line of it, the more we start to love it. You know, some people live in a filth. And them get up every day and just see filth every day. Them start to just see filth as a normal thing. It's like how we in a Jamaica now, we get so hardened to hearing about murder. When we hear about one murder, we say, how much that? How much man them kill? How much man, five man get shot, how much man dead? And the first thing that, we get hard, coarse, disconnected. We're not connected to life and the source of that life. Because we don't even know the source. So we need to come back. I will call Sankofa. We need to go back and draw from and step up on the plate and recognize how serious the situation is. Very, very serious. <laughs> you think it's not serious? It's very, very serious. Behind yeah, Iron Curtain, uh, you know something? We want to yell up some people who listen to me at some far place we are talking about like thailand <laughs> yes why you love the cutting edge listeners who not really catch it sometime in the night yeah but go back on youtube go catch it so why you love the people them in a thailand who listen to the cutting edge so with their pat clark here goes Welcome to Jamaican Roots and Culture. I'm Pat Clark. Harold George Belafonte Jr. was born on March 1, 1927 to Caribbean immigrants. His mother worked as a dressmaker and a house cleaner and his father served as a cook on merchant ships before leaving the family when Belafonte was a young boy. Belafonte spent much of his early years in Jamaica, his mother's native country. There, he saw firsthand the oppression of blacks by the English authorities, which left a lasting impression on him. Harry Belafonte returned to New York City's Harlem neighborhood in 1940 to live with his mother. They struggled in poverty, and Belafonte was often cared for by others while his mother worked. Dropping out of high school, Belafonte enlisted in the U.S. Navy in 1944. He returned to New York City after his discharge and was working as a janitor's assistant when he first attended a production at the American Negro Theater, AMT. Mesmerized by the performance, Belafonte volunteered to work for the AMT as a stagehand, eventually deciding to become an actor and later embarking on an impressive acting career. In 1947, Harry Belafonte landed his first recording deal. In the early 1950s, he began to sing folk songs from around the world and performed in such New York City clubs as the Village Vanguard. Belafonte continued to release albums into the 1970s, though his output slowed by the middle of the decade. On the big screen, Harry Belafonte enjoyed some success through his collaborations with longtime friend Sidney Poitier, including 1972's Buck and the Preacher and 1974's Uptown Saturday Night. Harry Belafonte also made numerous television appearances in the 1970s and 80s, including a guest spot on The Muppet Show, on which he sang some of his most popular songs. 
After a break, Belafonte returned to the big screen in the 1990s, first playing himself in the Hollywood insider flick The Player in 1992. In 1996, Belafonte starred in Kansas City in the role of a heartless gangster. He later starred in the 1999 political drama Swing Vote and appeared in 2006 Bobby about the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy. Always outspoken, Harry Belafonte found inspiration for his activism from such figures as singer Paul Robeson and writer W.E.B. Du Bois. After meeting civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. in the 1950s, the two became good friends and Belafonte emerged as a strong voice for the movement. He provided financial backing for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and participated in numerous rallies and protests. Harry Belafonte helped organize the 1963 March on Washington in which King delivered his famous I have a dream speech and met with the civil rights leader shortly before he was assassinated in 1968. During the mid-1960s, Belafonte also began supporting new African artists. He first met exiled South African artist Miriam Makeba, known as Mama Africa in London in 1958, and together they won a Grammy for Best Folk Recording for their 1965 album. In the 1980s, Belafonte led an effort to help people in Africa. He came up with the idea of recording a song with other celebrities, which would be sold to raise funds to provide famine relief in Ethiopia. Written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie, We Are the World featured vocals such as... <clears throat> featured vocals by musical greats such as Ray Charles, Diana Ross, and Bruce Springsteen. The song was released in 1985, raising millions of dollars and becoming an international hit. Harry Belafonte has sometimes landed in hot water for his, can for his candidly expressed opinions. In 2006, he made headlines... In 2006, he made headlines when he referred to President George W. Bush as the greatest terrorist in the world for launching the war in Iraq. He also insulted two prominent African-American members of the Bush administration, General Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice, referring to them as house slaves. Despite media pressure, he steadfastly refused to apologize for his remarks. In regards to Powell and Rice, Belafonte said they were serving those who continued to design the oppression of black people. Harry Belafonte has achieved some of the highest honors possible over more than half a century in the public eye. He was a recipient of Kennedy Center Honors in 1989, the National Medal of Arts in 1994, and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2000. Belafonte lives in New York City with his third wife, photographer Pamela Frank. The couple got married in 2008. And now to end Jamaican roots and culture, here is a wise quotation from the Black Diaspora. The cost of liberty is less than the price of repression. W.E.B. De Boer. For Jamaican Roots and Culture, I'm Pat Clark. Yes, Pat Clark. And the life and the IRFM Lifetime Achievement Awards goes to Harry Belafonte. <laughs> I, saw, I tell you, the two parents was Jamaican. I want to know that. Think we easy. I remember when him did lick out against Colin Powell. As a matter of fact, Colin Powell, parents from Jamaica too. <laughs> yes. Two different sides of the kind. Eh? But, yeah, that man, the Arabella fan, I remember a move, some move where we see him from them days there. Yeah, man, man that's very successful. He used to go to Woolmans too. Yeah, I rebel for the use of old mass. So it go. Uh, they never tell you that black beautiful. But still have some people who don't feel so neither. Given what we're doing to ourselves. It will appear that a lot of people now, especially those ladies with those falls, Chinese synthetic fibers in them head. Can you believe that? I hear some people are cause bleaching people, you know, but 
I ain't not see no difference between somebody who are bleaching and somebody who are burn up the head, you know. I ain't not see no difference. I ain't not see no difference between somebody who bleach and somebody who burn up the head and cream out them head and have all these synthetic fibers hanging down at them shoulder. And them see him on a tone like, look at how them bleach up them skin. There were the difference. It's all about looking different and how close you can look to Europeans. That is what it is all about. So, meanwhile, you're throwing the stone over there. Watch one, don't lick you. If you live in a glass house, don't throw a stone. Go. When do you throw fierce circle? If you lock on the proud, let me hear you throw it loud. Lock on the proud, let me hear you say yeah. Lock on the proud, let me hear you throw it loud. Lock on the proud, let me hear you say yeah. I wanna jump with pride. You belong to twelve tribe. Africa, you come from skin color, not your eyed. Now I'm terrified where you reside. Them say we inferior, but who fi decide? The white man lied. Them take we for a ride. Pan this layer, pan tears on me for parents died. And many years them cry, cry for freedom. Them tell I'm we knowledge and we wisdom. The tail must turn, the fire must burn. It's not what you save, it's what you earn. Yes, we are concerned, let the children learn. And live it up, rise, cause things get modern. Cause if you black on the proud, let me hear you shout loud. Black on the proud, let me hear you say yeah. Black on the proud, let me hear you shout loud. Black on the proud, let me hear you say yeah. Oh, why listen to this? Oh, why listen to this? Keenly. Very important. Good afternoon, friends. I've been trying to find a way to write about this, and I decided, you know what? I think I can do a better job speaking about it. So um, there's been a few incidents uh, since I've been here in Jamaica. It's been three weeks. of I just love this country. I love the people. I love everything about it. But... I uh, just wanted to share with you, all week I was going to the marina uh, to hang out and do my work and uh, really enjoy the restaurant there, which is a beautiful space. It's part of a public uh, or marina that's all been refurbished. It's called the Errol Flynn Marina. And the restaurant has uh, a swimming pool in it. And the swimming pool is for the people who come in on the boats from the marina and they're all so far as I've seen they've, they've all been white people who swim and use the pool and use the restaurant and have drinks and um, food and so on so all week I've been swimming in the pool I don't have a boat uh, no one questioned that of course because my skin's white and I fit in and I wasn't trying to get away with anything in fact the manager of the restaurant who's Cuban was so cool about everything he said it was no problem for me to swim there and I mean it's just part of the restaurant kind of you know it's the way they've set it up is really what I'm upset about uh, well actually no what I'm really upset about is uh, what happened yesterday so um, all week so yesterday was Thursday so that's the fourth day so yesterday uh, I invited a friend of mine who's black Jamaican very dark what you guys say blue black you know uh, very dark skinned Jamaican to come there and meet me for a drink so um, he, he came there and he wasn't coming for a swim or anything like that. I was going to have a swim and, uh, the security guard came up and told him that he, uh, he has to tell me that the management says that I'm not allowed to swim in the pool. So he said, no, you need to tell her that, not me. That's not up to me to do that. So the security guard came and told me that. And I just was like, okay, because I knew that that was the rule. But I observed all week and I did swim in the pool all week and there was no problem. So I know that this changed because a black person was with me in that bar. And there have been very, very few black people in the bar. So to me, it's one of those spaces. This is only my opinion and my observation, but I observe that the management of the Errol Flynn Marina, and I hope Michael Leach in hears this, it seems to me that they're trying to keep that space very white in a country of black people. And I'm very, very upset 
that they would, I don't care that they're calling on me to follow the rules. I'm cool with that. But I know the only reason they did that was, was because a black man was with me. So that's the part that I'm really calling out, you know. So then we left and went to the beach. They have a beach, um, uh, what do they call it, Bikini Beach, to go swimming there. And it was five to five, and the security guard came, a woman, and said, we can't swim there because they're locking the gates. So this is another thing. Now, this is another issue, but it's like, what are you talking about? How can you lock the beach? First of all, like that was always a public space for people from Port Antonio have gone swimming in that area. We used to call it the reef. And the first hotel that was ever built in Jamaica for tourism was the reef at that area, which burnt down. And then people, we always went swimming at the reef and it was a public space. So now they've made this other beach they call Bikini Beach and they lock it up at five o'clock. And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? Are you telling me that the people of Port Antonio can't go and swim in their own public area because somebody decided to lock a gate at five o'clock at night? That just doesn't make sense to me at all. And, you know, the, the sad thing is, is that hardly anybody is using that area um, because of all these rules. And I said to the security, like, this is Jamaica. What kind of rules are these? All these Jamaican rules. I've never heard of these rules before. What are you guys trying to do? I think you're trying to keep the public out of their own spaces. You're trying to keep that marina for the white people that come as tourists. And that is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. That space is a public space. That was, that's for the people of Port Antonio. And if you want to have your little swimming pool for the rich white people that come in on their yachts and, uh, get drunk and try to, no, I'm going to stop. Okay. I'm not going to go there. Take that back. If you want to do that, then build the swimming pool somewhere else. Don't have it in the restaurant that we all want to use. That's the only place in that whole area where you can get changed or do anything where there's a washroom. All the other washrooms they've built and the other public buildings they've built are all totally run down and not being used. And I'm calling out the Jamaica Tourist Board and whoever's running this Errol Flynn Marina to smarten up and get these buildings fixed and start allowing the public to come back in and use their space. That space shouldn't just be for the white people that come in on boats, the rich white tourists that come from all over the world. No, this is for Port Antonio, for the people that live here. So that's it for today. And I'm glad I got that out. And I'd love to hear from you. I know there are other people, especially in um, mixed race couples who are Jamaican that experience this. The black partner gets interrogated and stopped and questioned and um, you know, the white person just walks right through. We have all the privilege in the world. Nobody ever stops us. Nobody ever says a damn thing to us. So you are listening to Muta sick. Baruch. Yeah, Muta, what are you going? Yeah. Well, I'm there. I listen to the air and know what I want, you know. Give thanks. Yeah, man, give praise to all the world, man. Bless up, man. All right, man. I'm going to tell you, I can't speak from the reparation thing there, boy. And I tell you. Which part? Right on the radio, man. I oh, oh, when the program that start? Yes. Mm. Mm. You read the book there eh, where Walter Rodney writes about how oh, Europe and the development. Yeah, man. You know? At school, I read that, man. All right, sir. At school, I the read man, them book, the man. Well, the man, them take the land, them take up the land, them use the, the, the French, have uh, 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 them regime, and them are black people, and like, they, them, and them are black and white, and black to them own. In the past, and I'll listen, but now them have a nerve. Me hear the speech they were there to with the man, <coughs> and I talk, I, I talk with, with David Cameron, him come to Jamaica, come and talk about them, take the ba- let bygones be bygones, and and them never make it back by bygones. Just in 1834, when them when them signed this abolition thing, them start to pay the slave owner them twenty thousand pounds. You know, and, and, and it step up because don't do what they have to pay, them still have to pay money and they don't want to pay a week. Yeah. This area, but most of them would have liked to ask one question. Suppose them decide that they have to pay back the repatriation, how the funds would have, would, would, would have, would have distributed? I, I just government, they have to collect it. Uh, no, well, it, it the must be, watch out, it's, it's, it's not, the funds is not the main thing, you know. Yeah. So people uh, think about money you now and share up the money between people you now and thing. 
Okay. It's not going to work that way, then. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if, you get a, if you go to a girl and a black man and a, a, a certain portion of money and I see him go buy some finger, uh, she go buy some fingernail. <laughs> uh, and then we there, him go buy one clerk's booty and... Uh, in light, we were like, the, in, in light, the people and get more enlightenment about it because, right, you know, at least, you know, the, the pay back the slavery, you know, the damage we're done, you know. Mm. The damage we're done in that slavery, you know. England would have to just give up England France would have, French would have to just give up France. Dutch, Alan would have to just give up Alan. Portuguese would have to just give up Portuguese and say, hey, black people, no, come take them places and them riches and make us pay for no, yeah, man. So where them are going? Eh? Where them are going? I don't know. They know them work. Them, them, we, we, we live big like them. Is that what the power you can do, you know? Cancellation of debt. Yes. You know, health care system, vamp yes. it and start, you know, afresh. You know, yes. all the things. All the that system, yeah. you know, you know, certain things can be done, whole heap of things. Yeah, build some good school and all, uh, you know, make, make, make poor people get the chance. A lot of bright people in like Jamaica just with them poor, you know. Yeah. I mean, in the Caribbean, in the black world. Yeah. Black people, well intellect and well intelligent and well educated. Mm. But because a poverty... Just one chance, just one chance. Lack of self-esteem and all these things. Mm. Because... I, I listened to where the woman just said a while ago about the pool and the marina. Oh, up Portland there. Yes. You know, so one time I used to go over the island there, over the Navy Island there. Yeah, I'm going over there already. I still miss with. I'm over there already, man. That, you know, free a shot in there, you know. And 1980, our 1981, I see me in Boston for the island. No, I never swim go over there, though, you know. I boat, I take go over there. So the man to drive back and go back over the island and not take way up. So we we'll go up over teach field there and we go up on the little beach at teach field and swim class, we go right over on the island. Mm. But we did have two man draw down for we one with a cut and one with a swim chat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So the, the elder man of the corner said, the younger boy has a picture. So I talked to him about that and showed him the boy with the real one. So the island has gone into it. And then we said, I'm not going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him after a while. Yeah, I'm going to go over there. Yeah, man. The kids move. I'm going to say, you look there and, you know, keep up there. I could work. And place up on a bridge in the way. I play boy there. I can't play. Where you get them music? Them move that. Where you get them what? The music, the children where you play at night time. Where you get them? Yes. I'm going to sit in the record shop. We can't buy them in the record shop. Me don't know. I'm going to sit in the record shop. 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 All right, yeah, so I give thanks. No, I'll pull it here, so I'm blessed up. I'm going to leave. Yeah, man, how is it? Yes. Well, there we do, you know. We have to take the car, them. Here we go. Yes, Mota. Blessed. Yeah, man, that is a line over Portland where they live like I talked about a while ago. Yeah. It's a different piece of land off of Jamaica land. Because you say you swim go over there sometime and the No, I never swim go over there. I boat, I take over the other you. You take a boat, go over there. Yeah. So, how them stop people from using the beach? Well, them first, well, like any other beach where you go right through to Nigel, them put wall there and put fence there. Them put wall there? And fence, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, you know, illegal you know, illegal one, one, one of them is going to stop yourself. somebody. Eh? It, it is illegal. It is legal for them to stop a person from using that. I ain't not seen said legal. I ain't not seen said legal, you know. But you don't know it go. The people well, so. have a, a hotel. Them build a fence. Does them know why all niggas go up on the beach? And if you go up on the beach, all them say you are tourists and all them where they want to lock you up. Move so in order for you to get said, over there, eh? you have to either swim over there or take a boat go over there. No, we no, I know the watch out. The part over there where we are talking about a different thing, no, you know, we are talking about actually 
Portland de son nom. C'est Anne. Tu l'as né. Ah, la the beach them right now. You are the can't eh? find a public beach where you can. You see, ah, you see, you know, the other island them. You have to yeah. make a pathway to the beach, you know, because the beach is public thing. I tell about Jamaica public beach. Tell about Jamaica public beach. Jamaica public beach and the whole of the beach them. Right. Yeah, so but there's any right beach now, in a Jamaica where you tap it, can go pan. Eh? There's any beach in Jamaica. A security guard can stop it from going on All of the beach them where you have hotel there, they them stop it from going pan them. All of the beach no. them. Them can stop it from going through the hotel. No, the beach, the beach, the beach. But once there's a public town field to the beach, nobody can stop you. Yeah, but when I try to show you, say, most of the beach, them now controlled by the hotel where the beach there. And them now have yeah. no tariff here for go there. So you have to walk through the property for go up on the beach. Most of them now have not built up them concrete structure and them wire fence. So you have, if, if you want to access the beach, you have to go through the hotel for go up on the beach and that now is a problem. You know, see? Them by right, them supposed to have a access, the, the, the hotel, them supposed to have a access to the beach for the public, but them don't do that. Some of them all been walling at the rotting sea. I'm, I, I, I'm put right near the rope round it, like say a swimming pool. Them are turn the, 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 the sea in a swimming pool. If you go and nigger, listen, some of them do it. Put, put thing round it, that's, they must, they, they, must, they must mark out that spot there and say, you see that is what me one. You know, see, them don't want to no nigga out and out, 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 out swim the saw. You know, see, it appear white people have forgotten the saw. So, them, them say, if you're not know, part of the hotel, if you're not, know, you, you know, it's like them, I tell you, so, you know, you have some hotel where you're going to the, the lobby and them say, nobody's allowed in the, on, the, on the hotel. The room, them, when they guess them. And that them, I tell me now, so we can't go up on the beach, and most of the beach, them now take up by hotel. Terrible. Virgin gone, virgin gone. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. And it's a, it's a, it's a situation where we are looking on for how much years now, and I say, but wait. Every time they build up a hotel, Jamaican people lose a beach. Every time they build up a hotel, them, Jamaica, the only place right now, the only place right now, we left in a Jamaica, where we see people can access beach, I don't have, Treasure Beach. I don't have Treasure Beach. Because when we down there, you have, all right, you have a place down there now where no house never there, you know. And some people come there from foreign and below, so, but guess what? Anytime you want to go to the beach, you have access to the beach. It's the only place right now when we see people build up place and you still have access to the beach is down at Treasure Beach. All the other places where we go, from Negril to Morant Beach, from Negril to, to Portland, don't ask Ochi or so. It's amazing that the hotel them just take up the whole of the beach, them go right down. Some place where me, when we just start come and watch it, we used to just go down there, go down there, go swim and them things. You can't do that again. And them take away the beach from you. And if them are back swing, it's like them build a wall around the island. <laughs> it's like them build a wall around the island. I keep winning and uh, uh, keep saying I keep hold somebody, but I keep in the whole away. Terrible thing, terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Cutting edge, IRFM, there with you. Hello? Yeah, blessed. Yes. I'm, a, I'm on here now? Yeah, man, you're up on here, man. Yeah, man. I wanted to speak to you uh, really about what, what the Mark, when you were speaking to Mark Hughes a few weeks ago, but what basically I'm going to say about that beach thing. I suppose they're keeping in line with Errol Flynn because Errol Flynn was a known racist. Yeah. So they'll call it the right name. He shoot two black people, as far as I know, in his lifetime. Mm. Errol Flynn was a racist, so I suppose they're keeping in, they're keeping in line with that. Yeah. But, uh, and the reparation thing, if they're going to give the money to the Jamaican government, it doesn't make sense because the people's not going to see it. Mm. Because they're so corrupt, they're the not going to see it. The money's not the main... Sure. No, but the Jamaica government like to exploit things for themselves and share it amongst their family and friends. Yeah. It wouldn't work if they're going to give it to them. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It's going to be the same thing, and then they're going to compl then, then then the white people are going to say, "What are you complaining about? We've paid you reparations, so don't complain." Yeah. 
you know, but I don't know, what I really called to speak to you about is the Mark Hughes thing when he was speaking to you um, uh, a few weeks ago mm-hmm. about certain things. I mean, that man is no role model to speak to, to, I mean, to speak anything uh, about well, crime well, in Jamaica well, because well, in well, England well, where well, I am. Yo, 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 yo. Of, yo. Yo, I know. It's a radio station here, you know. I will not go allow you to libel the radio station by talking about a man where we, we can't prove what you're going to say. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 he was talking about the crime. I was talking about the crime. Because you're going to tell me now why he's not a role model. You know. I was just saying, like, there's lots of stabbings in Jamaica, I mean, in England, and Scotland Yard can't solve that. No. Scotland Yard can't solve lots of crimes that's taking place in Britain. Yeah. The amount of miscarriage of justice, what, what happens in Britain, and Scotland Yard can't solve it. Yeah. Scotland Yard can't solve lots of um, crime. And also things that happen to black people um, in, in Britain. Since 1969, there have been over 827 people died in police custody mm-hmm. yeah, from Scotland, know, in, in Scot- from them, Scotland they, Yard. Smiley culture. That's right. He's one of the, he. He's one, he, he. He died in his own house. Yeah. Otherwise, from that, the amount of murders that take place and miscarriage of justice, where the British police have to pay over millions, what well, Scotland Yard cannot, that Scotland Yard cannot solve. Oh, so yeah, the so Mark Shield is not a a, a a person who can't talk. Clean up your yard before you come clean up a brother. That just... Exactly, because even when he came to Jamaica, the first blunder. Is that that cricket that cricket manager who was a manager for Pakistan that white man? They they said the man was murdered and that wasn't true and that made Jamaica look like a laughing stock. Yeah 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 I remember that. It, 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 you know and also he said that must bring back must hire be fire like now, Grace now. Kennedy you hire foreign, di- foreign um, yeah. policemen and and pay them. Jamaica haven't got the money to hire foreign um, police. Jamaica they don't have still. it. I just that if we want I have foreign police, but Jamaica can't But they can't afford it. Oh, Jamaica they wasted government. It. Jamaica government can't afford anything, man. But they wasted it on him. They paid him hundred and twenty thousand a year, yeah. and he didn't solve any crime. Yeah. Plus, he had his sh- his driver, his cook. All right. So where you where, 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 you tell me where you think should that happen? Is the Jamaican police what they have? They have to work. They have to work with what they've got. No, they have to work with what they've got. Jamaican police corrupt bad. So tell me what them should I do. Well, so is, the, so is the British police corrupt. No, we're not talking about the British police now. May I ask you, where we should I do then in a Jamaica, given our situation, what should we do as part of the situation? What they should, what they should put, uh, um, do is they have to, they've got no choice. They have to use what they've got. They have to use what they've got. And they have to use, use the police. what they've got by doing what they did. By doing what to do what them use do, do, do what by doing all it is all it do is get rid of get rid of get rid of the corrupt police but the, but but bringing in other people from uh, other countries can't change it they just want to show them a bit more respect yeah wait now but you had show me something where them not supposed to do tell me where them supposed to do tell get rid of where them supposed to do get rid of some of the corruptible them. police Look look the right, just get you that of Everybody know who they are. Yeah, all right. So now, a three, poli- taking, you know, uh, three, um, three policemen made an interview, you know. And the three so Adams said, man is a killer. Wait, no? He's dangerous. Who? Oh? Adams is he's, 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 he's too he's too rough. Wait now, man. Wait to me, I say. A three policemen made an interview. And the three of them right cross say them should have get rid of the corrupt police them in the force. So that is one thing. Get rid of the police corrupt police in other force and then what it's very difficult because frankly basically the whole complete system is corrupt because if you want to get a driving license you have to pay for that they want to clean it up first because yes. lots of those people who's driving cars they shouldn't have a license that's the first thing all the examiners them who i know they're all rich all right so that but, is what is happening so tell me what should happen I mean, we'll what get should you that ha- the police. What should corrupt ha- Cor- police, what we don't know after. You please ever get you that the corrupt police force, then no crime is solved. Uh, then, not only that, they only want to show the people them respect. They want to respect the people them as well. Okay. Show people respect. Because sometimes sometime the police are so corrupt because they pay so cheap. Okay. 
They well, need to pay them more money. Them. So if they're going to hire somebody and waste, squander their money and pay them in foreign exchange, they're going to gonna bring their cook and their family and everybody the else. Thing. That's not brethren, good. Brethren. They pay them too cheap. You're going back to the foreign thing. That means I know they must pay the police more money then. Yeah, they need to pay them more money, yeah. Okay. Okay. They need to pay them more the money. They need to pay them more pay money. Them more money. Pay, pay the because, police. like you said, Jamaica's got money. So, if, 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 if they've got money, money, then they must pay the people the more the money. Want, they never find the money for do it. Anything where they want. Huh? Anything where the government wants, though, they must find the money for do it. Because they find yes, money. Yes, well, they've got the money, forces. can do it. Only one thing, they, they don't print their own money, so they have to wait to the royal. They have to wait to Her Majesty's government give no, them a certain amount of money each year to buy. Of more million dollars per pan, pan election or the other day. They spend six hundred million pan chopping bush pan road. Them can't find the money to do it. Anything they want. Well they must pay the, they must pay them more they must pay them more money. Okay. And they must use their own they must use their own people. As you were saying that they have to come at the office and go on the street. How things is is fine. They could go out on the street sometimes and go in the office. They don't have to hire any civil servant to do anything like that. That is that is a load of nonsense. Okay. They don't have to use the nonsense. They could. They, they've, they've got enough ammo police to use what they've got. They don't have enough police. They don't they have want to. more police, man. They want more police. Trust me. They want more police. Anyway. Anyway, give thanks to the brethren. Yeah. So how right. long you leave England now? How long you leave England? Huh? How long you leave England? I've been here all my life. But I've been to Jamaica a million times. I even know you as well. I know you. No, wait, no. I know that. May I ask you, how long you left England? Man. But I go and come regularly. So I'm, I'm back and forth. <laughs> All I'm right. back and forth, All but right. you know, but it, um, uh, I just had to call because, like I said, the British police are no role model for Jamaica. No, definitely They're not. bad people. Definitely not. They're bad people. They was the most one of the most racist set of police I know. Rated. Yeah, man. You, 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 in, in, in the movies. No, no, in a movie, real life. No, man, it's not true. Them well, Google it then. Look what look what people look what people look, look what miscarriages of justice Scotland Yarders did, and that Trident people. Do you know how much black people they've shot? No, wait. Let me say to you a while ago. Hold on, let me say to you a while ago. Let me say to you a while ago. You said one of the most rated. No, I never said that, man. I said yeah. The police in England is one of the most racist set of police. Racist. Oh, sorry, racist. racist. Yes, yeah, racist. Yes, racist. exactly. Racist. They're racist. Oh, and another thing, there was a policeman called is it Philip Green. He ended up getting a knighthood from the Majesty of the Queen, and now he's in the Bahamas somewhere. So it benefits them when they come to Jamaica because they get their knighthood, yes, yes. then they get their nice pension, and then they can yeah, get well, as much Jamaican say, women as possible it's, it's, for, it's, for free. Well, Green did say the police them in a Jamaica on to listen to white officers rather than them own officers were black. I got Green did say when I'm there. Well, that's not really true. That's because they don't really get the chance to kind of. It's not really true, really. It's no, not really it's true. true man, it's true. It's not really true. It's true. It's not really true because true. they black people. It's not really true. Black people in a Jamaica respect white people more than black people in a the same power base. If a black yes. a white man in a power and a black yeah. man in a the same situation, yeah. a black man in a Jamaica respect the white man more. Yeah, but what? But what? Like you. No, I never I know somebody, so I, I, you somebody know, using you, up your women and that, don't like you and, don't, and, and disrespect one of them you things as a I human being. Answer. Why black people show respect to white people more than them own? Yeah, why? To neo Nazi people. Lots of them are neo Nazi, these white people. They're Nazis. They, they hate black people. Yeah. Where black people is inferior to them. You know what? You know, so why you want to like more. somebody who's, who's inferior? Who, who looks like you're inferior? That is stupidness. Yeah, them take a poll in Jamaica and most Jamaicans say. They would have preferred if the Queen was still ruling Jamaica. But she still is. No, no. You understand what I say, man. I talk about Yeah, but she still... Yeah, okay. Can I ask you one particular question? Yeah. In England, right, in Parliament, the Speaker in the Parliament said he's not going to wear the wig. So why did Jamaican um, Speaker have to wear the wig, the Parno yeah, Charles? Why do you have to wear the wig if England don't wear it? No, Bridget, I know, that me just said to you a while ago. I know, but I'm just saying that yeah, if they're I, not I under the British, why do they have to wear the wig? Most, most Jamaican people say yeah. they would prefer if they under the rule of the Queen. The, the, the but they're under the Queen, so they, they must be happy with that. Vietnam, the rule of the Queen yeah, 
No, it's not the same way as it was before 62. You understand? It's a different thing. But it's modernized, it's undercover. No, I don't have to tell you it's a different thing. Yeah, but it's still there. there. She's still there. She's but, still the queen. I, know, I said she's not there, I know. I just have to tell you, say, it's not the same way. All right, we have to well, move. Well, think it's not the same way, but, she, but, move. Move. but she's still around. And yeah, we have to move. She's still the head of state. We have to move. We have to move. All right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Are you talking to me, Muta? Yeah, may I talk to you? Oh my God! It's like talking to Michael Jackson. Um, I listen to you Jackson, every like, night. Yeah, um, it's like, like every talking night. to Michael Jackson. Yes, really? you're like my idol. I really, but really look up to you. I like you. Like like somebody like that to Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 I, I I like your thought process. I like your movement. I like how you're always looking out for women. I'm actually a nurse. I listen okay. to you when I go to work at night on YouTube. Where they call me Dave and Puta at work. Where are you calling but, from? Um, hello? Where are you calling from? Fort Lauderdale. Okay, Fort Lauderdale, okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you never involved in the shooting at the school at the right there? Well, um, it was mainly the sister hospital. Um, I work at the one downtown. Mm. It was the north um, branch that received most of the um, injury. Okay, okay. Okay, so none of the, none of the, 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 the people that never come to your hospital? I'm not really sure, because I work on the cardiac unit. Okay. So it's probably like the ICU and the ER nurse will probably know more about that, but I'm not really sure. Yes. So when you get, you, you get, you, you, you get enough time for listening to Cutting Edge, man. Oh, yeah, when I sit down to church at night, you're in one of my ears. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I, I love what you're doing. I keep doing what you're doing. Um, uh, May the 19th, Malcolm X's birthday. Where? Well, you, you flew fine out. I don't know it's where yet. I just get booked for the date, so I don't know exactly where, but I know it's somewhere near the so. And I know it's Malcolm X's birthday that time, May the 19th. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so you can so I definitely try to get that day off so I could come and actually probably meet you in person. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, man. Give thanks. All right. All right. Yes. Fort Lauderdale. You know, so we're going to be connect the court next week. Yes. All right. I could see at this we do I'm playing now. Make could see if we can find it for play. It. Yeah, here goes. Wow, there. Africans to seek to regain their independence from the colonial masters. Africans will remind us that we were first enslaved, that Africans were taken, and this we seldom say, the first civilization to take Africans out of this continent were the Arabs. And they took Africans from the eastern coast. And it is sad that in that part of the world, there are not many Africans who remained. Because it was in the business of the Arab enslaver to castrate Africans. We never say that, but we must say it. Because it is historically significant. Then the Europeans came, the Portuguese came, the Spaniards came, the Germans came, the French came, the Belgians came. Africa became the hunting ground for the European colonizers. And we were the spot. We built, our ancestors built the United States of America. Our ancestors built Europe, and when slavery had lost its shine and sheen, the Europeans abolished it. But they replaced it with yet another pernicious enterprise, the colonization of Africa. The Europeans sat in Berlin, in Germany, in 1884, and they looked at the map of Africa and puzzled it out. 
The British had their share, the Germans had their share, and Tanzania or Tanganyika was their share. And Urundi. The Spaniards were Johnny come lately is in the arena, and they got little Equatorial Guinea and Southwest Africa. The French were here, the Portuguese were here, and we were colonized. This time round, they did not take us away. They came here, and they controlled us, and they told us, not in so many words, that we were children of a lesser God. <laughs> and we were treated as if we were children of a lesser God. In fact, they told us that on the day of creation, we were merely hewers of wood and drawers of water. And if anybody were to doubt it in 1948, and when Hendrik Fafut instituted the apartheid regime in South Africa, but yet there is a sense in which the God that we worship never sleeps. The colonial enterprise ran its course. And the European tribes, the Europeans never called themselves tribes, they called them nations, were engaged in a war. First in 1918, the European tribes fought. And they had something called the League of Nations, which died. Then they fought again in 1945. And what is unique about the European nations is that when they are engaged in tribal wars, they call them world wars. <laughs> so there was another war between 1939 and 1945. And after that, a new kid on the block, the United States of America, took the lead in saying that colonialism was something that was undesirable. But at that time, Africans were never quiet. Those who had been taken out had already started agitating. Many of us here will remember Marcus Garvey, of whom Bob Marley says, Gavi was a buffalo soldier in the heart of America. <laughs> and many of us will remember W.E.B. Du Bois. Many of us will remember that they started agitating that Africans must regain their dignity and their independence. And indeed, in 1847, in Liberia, a small brought back in Monrovia and Liberia became the first independent black nation in the continent of Africa. So soon thereafter in Sierra Leone they also created yet another colony. But Africa was colonized except Ethiopia which they tried to take in 1938 and exiled Professor Dr. Hale Silasi, and unfortunately they were defeated, as you remember, in the Battle of Adowa. Africa can defeat European tribes. <laughs> this history is necessary that we are able to appreciate the freedom that we gained. So that Gavi came, W.E.B. Du Bois came, but there was another crop after the 1900s had the advantage of European education. And there were people in Europe also who are beginning to recognize that indeed equality was necessary. And this was not anything new. In 1776 in the United States of America, the American states sitting in Philadelphia in the United States of America declared unto themselves that all men are born equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain and alienable rights, that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A few years later in France, after the revolution, they also recognized that we were to be equal. 
so that the colonized nations which had now taken Africans thought that they were safe. They had taken Leopold Sedar Senghor from Senegal. They thought that they were creating a little Frenchman. Little did they know that they were creating somebody who would want to overthrow them. They took Félix Oufé Boigny from Côte d'Ivoire and they thought that they were creating somebody who would be subservient to them. They took Ahmed Seko Touré and Modibo Keita and they thought they were safe. Little did they know that they were creating the future leaders and agitators against French colonization. And they did not stop there. The Portuguese also took Agostino Neto and Amilka Cabral and Eduardo Monlein to Lisbon. Little did they know that those individuals would be the catalyst that would be necessary in the process of decolonization. The British also had their fair share. They took others, they took Mwalimu Kambarage Nyerere, Hastings Kamuzu Banda, Kenneth David Kaunda and many others to the United Little did they know that those would be the individuals who sometimes later, and in Ghana of course they took the Osagifo, Kwame Nukuruma, and in Nigeria they took Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa, and Sahar Madu Bello, the Sodaner of Sokot. There is a sense, uh, therefore, in which these individuals started recognizing that having been enslaved, having been colonized, we now had to liberate ourselves. And the agitation started, and Kwame Nukuruma and his Ghana acquired independence in 1957. And I still can hear Kwame Nukuruma through the vicissitudes of time, saying in Accra, Ghana, that Ghana is free and will never be colonized again. But the freedom of Ghana means nothing if the rest of Africa is not free. Continent can... with Mutabaruka. We are listening to our amends. You know here. Continent. The end. The end. Yes, here. Here, here. Yeah, man. Okay, you know? Eh? Kenya. Come on, man. I Segregation was depriving people of them human rights with access to beach properties. Is, is, is a, I don't know how them do it. I don't know how the government of Jamaica keep allowing it. You know, I don't know. You know, me as in all Kenyan countries, you can't own the beach from property. No, no, you have access to the beach. If you go, go to a certain place, man, certain little island, I mean, even look at colonial one in Barbados there. Colonial Barbados, you have, you have, you have access to the beach. I mean, look at England. <laughs> yeah, you know. And, and any time they want to change up anything, they vote and it change. Yeah. I'm afraid to see the man them build wall, some hotel have built concrete wall in the water, you know. And they yeah, have the environment a lot of charities when they do nothing about that. No, that's not right for the environment. No, they don't do nothing about it. 
From 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 Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Where's about her? Refreshing VR. Yeah. <laughs> and it in global. You know how she survives the Amota. Yeah. Just go and do your thing and. Come like you. 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 Uh, when you see a man in a dull position, they can call the radio show, you know, say, things are going for the program, man. Believe you me. All right. And this is what I'm playing. I can say if you find the right one, you know. Um, the one who say, I'm sued the government. I'm sued the school. All right. I want the people them listen to this, you know. Listen very keenly. Cause I forgot to play it all tomorrow again too, because trust me. Albert Einstein once said, everybody's a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today on trial we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does he make fish climb trees, but also makes them climb down. All right, I've started to over. This brethren is having a trial and him is trying the school system. That is where my do. He might try the school, him carry the school system to court. I try them for all the things that them do. So listen. Albert Einstein once said, everybody's a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Now we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does he make fish climb trees, but also makes them climb down and do a 10 mile run. Tell me school, are you proud of the things you've done? Turning millions of people into robots, do you find that fun? Do you realize how many kids relate to that fish swimming upstream in class, never finding their gifts, thinking they are stupid, believing they are useless? Well, the time has come. No more excuses. I call school to the stand and accuse him of killing creativity, individuality, and being intellectually abusive. He's an ancient institution that has outlived his usage. So, Your Honor, this concludes my opening statement. And if I may present the evidence of my case, I will prove it. Proceed. Exhibit A. Here's a modern-day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today. And here's a car from 150 years ago. Right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today. And here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now, ain't that a shame? In literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare students for the future? But with evidence like that, I must ask, do you prepare students for the future or the past? I did a background check on you and let the record show that you were made to train people to work in factories, which explains why you put students in straight rows, nice and neat, tell them sit still, raise your hand if you want to speak, give them a short break to eat, and for eight hours a day, tell them what to think. Oh, and make them compete to get an A, a letter which determines product quality, hence grade A of meat. I get it. Back then, times were different. We all have a past. I myself am no Gandhi. But today, we don't need to make robot zombies. The world has progressed. And now we need people who think creatively, innovatively, critically, independently with the ability to connect. See, every scientist will tell you that no two... Every parent with two or more children will confirm that claim. So please explain why you treat students like cookie cutter frames or snapback hats, giving them this one-size-fits-all crap. Watch your language. Sorry, Your Honor. But if a doctor prescribed the exact same medicine to all of his patients, the results will be tragic. So many people would get sick, yet when it comes to school, this is exactly what happens. This educational malpractice where one teacher stands in front of 20 kids, each one having different strengths, different needs, different gifts, different dreams, and you teach the same thing the same way? That's horrific. Ladies and gentlemen.
ladies and gentlemen, the defendant should not be acquitted. This may be one of the worst criminal offenses ever to be committed. And let's mention the way you treat your employees. Objection. Overruled. I want to hear this. It's a shame. I mean, teachers have the most important job on the planet, yet they're underpaid? No wonder so many students are short-changed. Let's be honest. Teachers should earn just as much as doctors because we have saved the life of a kid. But a great teacher can reach the heart of that kid and allow him to truly live. See, teachers are heroes that often get blamed, but they're not the problem. They work in a system without many options or rights. Curriculums are created by policymakers, most of which have never taught a day in their life. Just obsessed with standardized tests. They think bubbling in a multiple choice question will determine success. That's outlandish. In fact, these tests are too cruel to be used and should be abandoned, but don't take my word for it. Take Frederick J. Kelly, the man who invented standardized testing, who said, and I quote, these tests are too cruel to be used and should be abandoned. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if we continue down this road, the results will be lethal. I don't have much faith in school, but I do have faith in people. And if we can customize health care, cars, and Facebook pages, then it is our duty to do the same for education, to upgrade and change and do away with school spirit, because that's you. to their dreams and there's no telling what we can achieve this is a world in which i believe a world where fish are no longer climb trees i rest my case Ari of M. thought provoking always smoking lyrics like a bazooka you are listening to muta baruka yeah muta blessed man why you know man everything is everything <laughs> And thing, the the, the, the the snowy conditions here, the beast from the east, as they call it, uh, the, the, the weather, the cold weather. Really snow, snow up there now? Yeah, we don't want it. Snow up there now? Yes, man. Heavy, 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 man. <laughs> from about two days ago, they call it the beast from the east. Hey. Weather coming in from Siberia and Russia. Wow. Yes, and there have been several deaths. On the um on the on the motorways because of the you know the the, the weather conditions and so on a lot of schools have been closed yeah, yeah, people not able to, able to go to work and so on I, I tell you something it's the most snow that I have seen since the 1970s when I was you a civil that? engineering student here. May I Omar come up there you now? Yes, yes, I know, I know, as, 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 as you told me, you know, yeah. you know, and, and, and I know some of the people, the, the, I know the people involved, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I have heard from them, they know me from years ago, you know, from in the 70s, you know, and so on. A good people, so them, right? A good people, them. Um, I know them, you know. <laughs> All right, you don't have to say nothing else. All right. <laughs> and thing, I want to hear up Castro Brown, All too, right. you know? Yeah. Uh, 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 Regin and thing. But last week, last week, there was a hunger strike at the detention center in Yardswood, which is near, um, in the Bedford area, you know, Luton side. Mm. We are some Jamaican are involved, Jamaican women are involved because it's a detention center for people yeah. who are kept there because they say they're not legally entitled to be in the country. Okay. But the thing about it is that alarmingly 
you have a lot of Jamaicans and other people too mm. who have been here from the 1960s came here as little children and they came in a lot of cases they didn't have their own passport they were on their parents passport oh, you know that type of situation mm. or they lost their passports that they came on so they are not able to prove by way of a pra passport that they have indefinite leave to live in the country to remain in the country and so on mm. and so there have been some horror stories where they, they have been arrested and detained oh, and yeah. put in these centers to be deported to jamaica even though they have spent most of their life yeah. Yeah, working yeah. in this country mm. going to school in this country yeah. legally and well, paying know, taxes that everywhere you know you know that's happening in israel I mean. Yes, it, 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 I, and I tell you something, it, 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 it's a racist thing because even when the people provide slips, yeah. weird slips, and other forms of documentation to show that they have been working legally and paying taxes because they don't have the passport, like mm. they either lost it or the passport was on their parents or mm. some bodies and those passports no longer exist. They use that as an excuse to detain them. And in fact, I was the one who made the Jamaican High Commission here aware of this hunger strike last week mm. at the Arswood. It's a serious, serious situation. Yes, I mean, you know? I, 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 yes, 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 people who have been here like they in the 50s, 50 now years. late 50s, and they came here when they're 6, 8 years old. Yeah, you know years. what I'm saying? We, and this is why I am on this case, mm. you know, to, to assist with the High Commissioner and Deputy High Commissioner, you know, Ramakan and Rose Owell, mm. to, 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 to make sure that these people are not deported, you know, because they have been here legally. Very, very vicious form of um, racism, you know. By the way, you hear about the, the reparation thing where... The, the government of England through the Treasury was paying a loan, paying it off for the, the, the money that was given up, to up the, until virtually now. 2015, February 2015, them, them finished. Yes, 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 the Treasury, yes. Yes. What, what, a, what a state of affairs, a yeah, scandalous, racist state of affairs. And of course, we, we, the descendants, and they said nothing. Yeah, and as a fact, them have way PN because, you know, the taxes to the children. Yes, department. so what taxes? PN them, yes, of course. The slave, them have pay money for them own demise. Precisely, you know, the, the, we, we the descendants of those Africans who were enslaved through our taxes, PN these, the descendants of these racist bloodsuckers, yeah. And, and what happened, you know? It was really meant to come out, you know, but no. you know the Almighty Creator have a way of work yes. things out that the treasury Imagine came Cameron. out with it and people picked up on it and realized yeah, that this was Cameron. what was happening. You yeah, know, Cameron who Fim family was part of this. Involved, team. yes. One of his family in was, a, was, was, was a soldier in, in Jamaica in the racist British Imperialist Army, yes. Say, he is a guy who said, mountain. you know, that because he and his generation never enslaved our ancestors, then we should want to have reparations. But at the same time as this shows, they're still benefiting. Them never forget about it. Precisely. Up to 2015, them still did not deal with it. But you see, Cameron and others like him only want us to forget about it because it's to their advantage but for us to forget about it. it. And this is why out. reparations is a must. And for those of our African people at home and abroad who are talking about, um, you know, some of our people who are miseducated talking about we're not supposed to want no reparations that, and that type of thing. And it's begging, which is a lie and stuff. So. This is further evidence. Yes. To miseducate 
conniving British government. Conniving yes. and cheeky as can't tell them what I say. Exactly. Yes. You know? Yeah, man, always to benefit them. And I noticed that um, President Mugabe has broken his silence and said that he was removed unconstitutionally and also he had a deputy, he had a vice president, Joyce Majuro, mm. whose husband was one of the military leaders of the ZANU PF, you know, army in the Chimurenga yeah. thing. He had sacked her a few years ago and accused her of trying to um to, to overthrow him and so on. Mm. And he has had meetings with her and some other people. Yeah. Yes, so I, I am glad that he has broken his silence, you know. And, of course, we know we're coming up sometime this year in, in Zimbabwe. So it is very interesting to see how this is. And another well, them explosive... Just marry, them um, just marry the opposition leader, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Huh? Them just bury the opposition leader. Well, well, no, man, it will work out because he, he was a... That's so, that opposition leader was an agent of the British, Morgan Shangarai. Yeah. An agent was financed by the British and the Americans of the MDC, mm. you know. But, but you have other people who um, who are pro-President Mugabe, you know, mm. and thing, who they are opposed to this present um, thing. So I will, I will definitely keep you posted where that is concerned. But talking about next door, South Africa now, yeah. at long last, yeah. a brother from the PAC by the name of Sam MPEPA, he, he and I got in touch recently, and he has supplied me with the names of the PAC, Pan-Africanist Congress prisoners, who are still in prison mm -hmm. in South Africa. Mm. Long yes. and Mandela. Yes, Mandela free and other ANC thing, but PAC, yeah. Pan Africanist Congress, um, prisoners of war are still in prison in South Africa mm. from those times as, 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 as I speak. Yeah. And he has supplied me with the names and he has asked me to publicize their case to fight to get them free. Yeah. And I will, I will, I will email you as I have emailed other people. I'll send you the names. And this situation but so that is what I, I, I am about I have been sent I, I just got the name from him Send and for some years I've been PAC people yeah. but the PAC has been infiltrated just like all the UNI and the ACL of Marcus Garvey was infiltrated mm. the Black Panther Party and any revolutionary organization you always have the enemies of infiltrators yeah. you know but I'm glad that brother Sam Peter yeah. Has provided me with the names. Uh, we have to move. Hello. We have to move. Yes. Okay. So keep on doing and heal up to the two brethren who healed me up two weeks ago because yeah. Muta, I have to support what you are doing because without you yeah. and without Andrea Kabu doing what she do yeah. on a Sunday, there are she no other away. African programs yeah, in right. the island of Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bless him, Mother. Yeah, man. Um, two questions now. Um, the general called earlier about the, the cricketer. Oh, can you tell me what was the outcome of that case? The, the person who called about the what? The cricketer. Which cricketer? Uh, the cricket. The, remember that the cricket guy that said they did in Jamaica or something like that? Oh, you know, the hotel up our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the outcome of that case? I don't know. We never hear uh, more about it again. Alright. Uh, uh, ah boy. Alright, another thing. Mm. The school the school them, school system. Mm. You notice that the this well you said the principal them I'll knock all the kids in my morning. Can something be done about that? Because may I realize you're locking out the kids them. Regardless of the situation, you're locking them out. Where are they going to go? Most of the time you see them up on the road, especially yeah, the young girls. Them. Them all. All over the place. I mean, it's ridiculous. We're locking all the kids out of school. Take them and put them. Yell. Yell. 
get cut off. The cut off, they saw that way, though. The cut off, they really saw that way, trust me. Aye, sir, I tell you. Yes, sir. I don't know what happened. Get cut I, don't off. What happened like, I don't know what happened either. <laughs> the phone bug. Mm. Yes, sir. I said, what, what the school system now? I mean, I said, they need to do something better with the school system, boss. The lockout business. Yeah, man, I joke thing, man. I said, my parents, I go work every morning, I'm part of the student. Them. Why you have to lock out the pit and them? Them are losing education. I mean, do something, man. Care them in the auditorium, you want to punish them, put them in the auditorium and punish them that way there. Mm. You know, you can't unlock out the pit in the motor school. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. Man, they used to do it. No, man, they need to change, man. They need to change motor. Mm. Yeah. So you think tell them to take them in and put them in the auditorium? Them yes, start. man. Look up, man. You can put the pit in and leave the motor road. Anything can happen motor road. Yeah, I, I, I want to say anything up motor road, too. All right. Anything up uh, motor road, trust me. And a little younger one, them like the few channel. We have to protect them the best way we can. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. Good time. Yeah, man. Are we? Yes, man. We don't know, boy. The, the system, is, boy. Ah, uh, boy. System is up And the farm that's up there, I'm up there. I continue doing work, you know, because yeah. 42 years now, and we love the thing, boy. Yeah, man. Give continue time, working. Man. Yeah, yeah, give time. Yeah, man. Bless it. Yes. Yeah. Bless up. Bless it. Yeah, man. I'm seeing all the paper today, so I'm going to buy up my credit from early and see me off the hill, you know? You see me all the paper today? Yeah, man. Yeah, and rest of the far right. Oh, rest yeah? Far right. Oh, oh, I put you in motion. Yes, man. Okay. See, you know, your big old blue shirt, like you like a blue color, you know? My big old blue shirt. Oh, you know, said old. Because you know, say for a long time, days, Bob Marley had to have a blue Lanova. So no, I mean, all you know, say the church, the church of me have an old shot. You know, when I say old man, I don't mean. You have old and then there's something there. What do you mean when you say you know? old? Tell me, tell me. Huh? Tell me, it's, it's you may not jump your car, no, I don't understand the jump your car terminology, you know. So tell me, when you say old, what do you mean? Me say blue is a favorite color for a long no, time. No, when you say old blue shirt, tell me what you mean when you say old. Why you never just say blue me shirt? Me just mean I'm a blue color. shirt. Blue yeah. as a old time, long time thing. Cause we born come see color blue, so a long time me there. Then you know born come see red too. Yeah man, so if I do red, I say see them old red shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Everything good though. Of course. <laughs> you mean, man? Yeah, man. See, I'm not sleeping when I listen to the program. I'm sitting here for calling and I'm making work. Tell me about my old blue listen. shirt. Huh? You, you can't tell me about my old blue shirt. Yeah, man, I'm sitting here in the papers, you know? Yeah, so where so you're supposed to sit here, man? How old are you? Oh, yeah. You can check the same color so good, you know? You never have an old white shirt? No. Okay. Okay. Me and check film color so good. I mean, I see I get popular like Bob Marley, you know. Me I get popular like Bob Marley? Yeah, man. Eh? You want to say when you come down in the papers and they all about man, you know, I'm popular like Bob Marley. Are you supposed to see me in the paper? No, man, all the while, man. Me have all the photos. Oh, you have to tell me I get popular like Bob Marley because I'm in the paper. Me oh, you have to have the wrong to, side. Hang up in my house. You hang up me in your house now. Long time, long time, man. You, you see that problem that no fair you go hang me in a house. So, I have, me have you and I have you, the whole area of them So, wait, you, you free me too. You free me too. Free me up? Yeah. I don't have a problem, man. You're a star, you know, man. No, but you, no, but if you hang me in a house, that means you all free me in a house too. You say you're a star, man. You're big <laughs> on the black star line, man. You're <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> You're good, though. Yeah, oh, you mean, man? Be good, Lord, that me hear you, be good, yes? <laughs> yeah, man, more than just some Aki come give for Marcus Gavi next celebration, man. Yeah, make, <laughs> what? You're going to keep the Aki from now till Ma August? Huh? You're going to keep the Aki from now till August? No, yeah, man, I have an Aki tree where my brother have with always up. I get Aki every day, you know, man. Then, then, you know, where, where are we till August? So we don't bring it now? Somebody don't want to see me up there, you know. No, no, okay, you know. Which part are you there? Which part are you there? They are hard for man, Westmoreland. You're the hard for Westmoreland. 
Okay. Yeah, we come look here by the pizza touch thing here on Carbo. Yeah, West Milan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's stop it. You know what for you? We always say, all right, do a one for you and go on through. Yeah, all right. All right, when me go out with jokes with lucky, then I'll wait till August. Yeah, man. I'm going to carry them in for you for the celebration thing. All right, so give thanks. Yeah? Yeah, man. Bless up. Yeah, I agree. Hell. Hell. Hell, water. Yeah, bless it, man. Uh, morning, man. Morning. Uh, teacher, you know, sir, we have two problems, teacher. Two problems? Yes, man. Why not? One is that the black people never seen the black people interact with daily. Mm. Blacker than me. Yeah. Let me tell them, say, yo, you know, say, you're African. No, sir. Me them not them African, me not African, me not Jamaican. They never go Africa yet, so they are not African. They want to African, and I say, African, you know, some students when you see a, chi a China, man. You call him China, man. He's from China. China yet. He never got China, but he's a Chinese. He identified yeah. as Chinese. Yeah. You see the white man, you know, some are European. There's an irony the situation with African people in Jamaica. They are totally the African. They cost me all the world, man. Yeah, yeah terrible. I, I, I don't know that thing now. They are the other day at an Indian shop. They're the Indian in their region and some black virgin. And the Indian are talking about the people and we are worship this man in the sky. The Indian are saying, oh, no man in the sky. I mean, take it on and I say, Virgin, I'm mad, it's not talking. But they really believe that I'm in the sky. The man say, I mean, Jesus Christ, God. Mm. I say, Virgin, no God in the sky. The God inside of you. The man, they move from inside of my motor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I go out the door, the man, they move from inside of me again. If them could have and pushed down in a hill, they would have pushed down in a hill, man. Yes, sir. And go back to the Indian and them and the Indian attack. We still they tell them to not go in the sky, but they would prefer to the Indian, Indian than yeah. talk to me. So you can't imagine when me I go through. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. You're good still. You to can't imagine me the years ultimate and teach David the Antichrist. The right, right. you yeah, teach for years and then I talk to him, I'm a madman and this yeah, and man. that. Yeah, man. I'm a madman, man. I'm an you know, Antichrist see? and all them something like but I don't know what I'm going still more about. I want to buy eyes open already. No, you can't know that open eyes that we give time to them. If you open, I'm going to open, man. Watch me. Yeah, man, we give time to them. I'm going to open to make a difference. You understand? Yeah. yeah. We give right. thanks, man. Yeah, give thanks, brethren. Yeah, bless it. Yes, man, I tell you. If him just hear that and then move it from inside, true. <laughs> but we can't take it to back, broad. I tell you, yes, he'll. Yeah, motor. Yes, I agree. Uh, I, 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 I talked to you about the, 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 on the money the other day. Marcus Gavi on the money? Yeah, that he was on the, that they was canceling that money that he was on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm saying to you that, like, that is a part of black history that he was on the, that, that money that they canceled. Mm. And for them to for them to cancel that money in Black History Month is an insult to Black History Month. Okay. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, me. Yeah, say them 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 insult. I will about things still. I don't know Black History Month. Yeah, but no, no, no. But for Marcus Garvey, money to be canceled because they canceled about the fifteenth of our fifteenth of the month. Yeah, maybe they put it on a paper money now. Huh? Maybe they're going to put it on a paper money. The 25 cent? No, maybe they're going to... No, maybe they're going to have a $500, $5,000 billion. Yeah, but the, the money that they canceled was a 25 cent. No, I know, but who tell you they're going to make a $10,000 bill? Yeah, but most of they canceled it on Black History Month. Yeah, but I don't know, I don't know what, so what, what that mean. I don't mean nothing. Yeah, but Black History Month... Uh, Marcus Garvey is Black History. Like, yeah, but them not celebrate Black History Month. But it's Jamaican. No, but what I say? So, so what that mean now to you now? I mean, it's a disgrace, don't it? No, it's not disgrace, but it, it's insulting to do it in that month of Black History Month. Cause, you know, you, you, IOFM says February is Black History Month. Yeah, but what I say now? You are saying it's an insult to do it, in, so them should have do it next month. You don't feel better well, than to do it next month. I don't feel better than they didn't do it at all. Yeah, That's why I called you the first time. But you in terms of the month, because you emphasize the month. I would have felt better 
But I still it wouldn't be you black would so bad. that you they would did so it. Bad. I remember that Marcus Garvey being on the very 25 cent is a part of black history. So it's not black history anymore that they took him out of it. Yeah, but some of them, yeah, all right, so you want to know, Bridgman. Me can't really bother my brains about that, you know. Trust me, because they make a statue don't look like him neither. So the point is that it don't matter to me if him depend one hundred dollar bill, ten thousand dollar bill. We see a different perspective to deal with Marcus Garvey, and we are carried through by educating the people them about Marcus Garvey. Yeah, not just an image. I mean, it's good. The symbolism is good. You know, we accept the symbolism, but I don't know. If I would have emphasized why them do it in a black history month, like if them did never do it in a black history month, it would be almost all right. No, no, I'm, I'm, it was never. When I when when I called you, I was saying to you that you know because you always champion these causes. I yeah, me know, but I don't your... know if it's a cause. No, if you say why you not do that in a black history month because. Them don't tell we already say how we are celebrate Black History Month. Them are celebrate Reggae Month. Yeah. Them don't so, tell that you know. Me, how we are celebrate to Black me, History Month. To me, I'm, I was thinking that IRFM, you and Kabul have, like, you know, done something about that. I mean, never really take it up as an issue, really. It never comes yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Issue, you know? Who, who else the pan the other money them when them cancel out? Well, you said the person, you said the person that's on the other money is that Paul Bogle, so I don't know who it was. No, who the, pa, which money back Paul Bogle there, Paul? No, the ten, one dollar. Which, 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 me no, know the money there, me Ten cent. Him the party ten cent. But it's not him, you said that was some no, American. No, 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 what me I say, who is the party, the, 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 who is the party, um, the kind them with them cancel? That's the two people that I know. The, the person that you said is not so Paul Bogle. Pan, Vietnam, Vietnam man. Well, it's a black man said we. It's a black man. So what may I ask you now? You the said he's American. Wait there. Where my money them? I'm going to find a money. I don't even remember who they pan the money we have the little edge, 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 edge. Who, who they pan the money there? Eh? Hey, the, the, brown, the brown money. The brown, um, the brown money, uh, money man. Who they pan the... I wait a ten dollar or one dollar. I don't even know a ten dollar bill. Like, I don't even know. You know. Ten cent water. Ten cent. I would have found the ten cent. You said the person that's on the ten no, cent is not Paul Bogle. No, wait, no, man, no matter what I say about the person. Well, that's say, the Ooh. person I'm saying that it's supposed to be Paul Bogle. All right. So if it's Jenny. But you said it's not him. No, what I say is the man that would have it is part of black history. So I say no. If him the planet now, it's not the, it's not the, I, I don't think it's a deliberate attempt to get rid of the black people, them half of the money. But this is what me really it, said. It was two black people on that money, though. Two black people, for which money? It was on the 10 cent and on the 25 cent. Marcus Garvey was on the 25. Marcus Garvey is still on the 20 dollar, yeah. Yeah, so which one of them? Marcus the Garvey was on two money. Ah, which part none of them the plan? Which one of none of them the plan? No, 500. The five, yeah. Okay, five hundred dollar bill, not in the book. Yeah, she 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 the the five, but the, the the first on the ten cent, you said that person is not not. Yeah, the me, person that we. I know me say, I know me say, the picture it show it. Yeah, well, I know me no, say. No, but I'm just going by your word because I didn't check it out. You never check it. Yeah, but I better no. check it, Redwin. Don't check what. Me. Just get in oh, first, I'm it. talking to you, and I have to say what you say. I have to, cause, you know, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to somebody else. I said more yeah, said. But I'm saying you champion for no leave. Don't take off Marcus. Don't get rid of the, the Marcus Gavi uh, for the ten cent in a black history month. Meta would get it rid of it in a black history month. Because it and it, it because Marcus Gavi on that money is black history. But all of them are the pan money of black history. Yeah, but you already tell us that the one that we thought was Paul Bogle is not. Yeah, yeah but even if it's that not Paul Bogle, really but, count, yeah, but me I tell you, Bridget, it, even if it's not Paul Bogle, it's still a man who contribute to black history. Jenkins. Okay. The all man right. who, where, the picture where Paul Bogle look like, is still a man who relate to black history. That is why I bring it up, you know, so you must go out there and go find who is this man, William Jenkins? 
Yeah, but you never do it. So you never do your no. homework. You should not go to the back of the class. No, but the, the homework was really about Marcus Garvey. No, the make homework the was about. to find out who is that man with the pan the, the where them says Paul Bogan picture. Who is that man? That is what was yeah. the, 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 the homework. You never do that homework. So now you come now and you say, them take out Marcus Garvey out in a black history month. So now, yeah, but you, you say, no, we teacher, must do something you about said it. that I wouldn't have to go back to that. I have to just say what the teacher said, said you know, to me. And the then teacher, I said, don't give what homework, I have to say I never to the do teacher. It. The teacher didn't give a homework long time. You never do it, you know. I know you come back and refer to the homework. Where you never no, do but, but the homework will still be that Marcus okay, Garvey or that student. person is no longer on the, on, on the brown here. money. You are a delinquent the student. The you are a delinquent student. I should give you... Mota, no delinquency there, Mota. <laughs> I'm just saying it's an insult for it to have been done in February, even even though all the, though it was yeah, done. Yeah, emphasize in February. It's an insult for doing it any time at all. Yes. But you have to February. February is, is a we are a black instrument, you know. And it's a, it's a small portion of we are a black instrument, you know. The majority of Jamaican people now check black instrument. They check Lent, Ash Wednesday, Valentine's Day, Easter, and that they check. It's a, yeah. it's a small portion of it. I relate to it as black instrument. Yes, yeah, so but the po that that's the portion I'm talking to, like you and you and Kabo, yeah, because you like I said, you are always champion these what causes. Do I, what do you know? Tell me where you want me do. What no. me should I do? What me should I do? Tell me. Go to the government well, and tell them say don't don't disrespect Gavin away there by taking take out the money during Black History Month. Well, you could have... Yeah, but if you can't, I I read it. All right, me understand what you're saying, now, but you say all right. Me don't have that. Taste and that feeling feet like how you are said. Me not have that, you know, spur. It does spur me. It's not something that spur me. And but me didn't think to say, say it spur you. No, yeah, but me know, but you think wrong. It not really spur me. All right, Mood. So you wait now, wait now, well, I know, well, I know. You want me to tell you for you now? Yeah. You see, the homework I made you from them days where you never do. You remember that homework that way you just bring up a while ago? Oh, yeah, you, you need to go now by your computer to look for it. All yeah, right? Man. All right, me hear your part, all right. You're going to do it or you're not going to do it. You have to hear me. You know you hear me. Yeah, my mic my, my go through it. Oh, my mic my, 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 my go through it. You know, your mic. All right. So when you come back now, you're going to bring up something else where me and Cabo should I do. And you're one thing you know, do. Yes, Lord. Give thanks. Yes. All right, what we there? Yes, over there. Yeah. yeah, this is a cutting edge. The bridge you know that talked to me a while ago. Um, he said two money, Marcus Gavin. Why, me, 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 me so <laughs> I am pleading naivety to this thing at all. Who the pan the, 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 the twenty dollar bill? That twenty dollar bill. Who the pan the twenty dollar kind? Operator, you have a twenty dollar out there. Bring a twenty dollar bill, let me see, and a ten dollar bill because you have two politicians. I think you have no one of them upon the money, but you have upon the, the paper money. But you have a you have a politician upon the the silver. Cause it's a copper one. Them say them go get rid of you know the copper one. Them them just said give it upon two of them. And I feel same the upon another one too. You know. I have a, you know, some banana silver. You have no security. Operator, come, here, come, come teach me something else. I don't remember who they found the $20 bill. I could have seen you have it for the $20 bill. Not the $20 bill, the $20 coin. Can somebody out there tell me, say, you have it not the $20 coin, I'm the $20 coin. Make me stop going to sound like me, an idiot. Nobody now coming out of the studio, come tell me, say, me, an idiot. I want to remember if Gavi depend on the $20 kind because I say them take off Gavi half of the money during Black History Month. But I know say it's, it's, it's the copper money them I get with that. It's not the silver money them. And I and, and I I go and go put me on the black and say Gavi depend on what are them? What are them silver money there? And um and 
Busta, um, I think I'm manly. Manly, they pan one of them. I'm Busta, they so pan one of them. If him feel so upset about it, maybe him should have gone lobby and said, put Gavi upon the, the five dollar kind. But Gavi, the, oh, your yeah, people should have been Come inside us, so come tell me which part Gavi there. Uh, uh, yo, <laughs> me a chick. Come rescue me. <laughs> me a chick. Come rescue me, Yasser Rasta. Because. It's me now, no kind, you know. So tell me something now. No, me have kind, but tell me something now. You have no depend one of the other kind there, apart from the copper one them. No. Uncle, Uncle, one him depend? Yeah. So who depend the $20? Oh, no, all right. Manly, manly depend one of them. I think manly depend the $5. You know, to the whole of your idiot in here. No. I don't even look at them, you know, so... Where are they, where are they, where are they? Ma Marcus Gavin, you know, the $20 bill, Rasta? No? What you say over this, sir? Yeah. Oh, you mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you see it now? You see it now? Yeah. Hey, 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 Matrix. Hey, reach your telephone book there. Because I'm going to leak Mark. I'm going to leak him in the telephone book, you know. <laughs> Marcus Gavin, you know, the $20 kind, right? A man did the pan five dollar, no so. Who the pan five dollar? What a terrible thing. If we did the pan school challenge quiz to write it. <laughs> big big money that plays out and try to figure out who the pan which are the money there. No, this is outrageous. No, I hope Debian, I hope not Debian, I hope Kabua listen to this and fire the whole away. <laughs> Who can't shoot? I don't even know anything like that. The great. Because them, they might get you that kind, and them get you that Marcus Garvey, half of the kind, in a black history month. So, him, wow. him take resentment to it. Mm -hmm. Say, them do this in a black history month, because it's black, Marcus Garvey is black history. Yeah. Me not see the significance of saying, no, me not fight for that. Can I must say me and Cabo should have fight for that because since we are dealing with them somewhere. I mean I tell them say well, it's not so important to me. But when me I reflect on it now, me I say, Marcus Gavin the power of the copper money them too. No, Did Owen come and I say that? So they might get you that the twenty dollar bill, twenty dollar kind? No, the copper one them might get you that. Them say them now go deal with the copper kind them. Yeah. No, I know what the, them officially, the government officially say, them stop, them are going to stop, make them. But, no, but when we want to fight, no, but me, me know say, no, him said, the, the brother will call me say, Marcus Garvey, they pan the copper kind them, and they might get you right in a black history month. Right? So, him, him resent it. And he might say, no, if they expect me now at Cabo to bring it up as an issue. Yeah. But if, if I remember clearly, Marcus Gavi they found the $20 kind. Yeah. Then all oh, you are coming in and go like say you never know that. I make me go like say me, me adult myself. Why I make me adult myself? Uh? Yeah. I, him, I hear him now. Trim no one go against you, you know, you know. Hear him now. Maybe. <laughs> You know what I say? Beatrix, you idiot man. Marcus gave me the party twenty dollar kind. He brought it at that about maybe. <laughs> if you don't say right, you know that. And the two of you are idiot, you know that. If you don't say right, you know. If I talk about maybe, I hope, I hope you catch flu when you go outside. Yo. <laughs> no, this, this is amazing, Rasta. This is amazing. So Marcus gave me actually the party twenty dollar kind. Then I get you that twenty dollar kind. Brethren, if that will make you feel better, whosoever you is. Marcus Gavin upon the $20 kind and them not going to get you that the $20 kind. Right? Come this man take the $20 kind and make ring, you know. Yeah, man, I go to some... No, I go to some shop. What they call Culture Shop in America? Well, I would have rats, you know. Them use it as the pin, as the, the top of it. And the ring. No. no, no. Yeah, them, they, yeah, them, like, all uh, them well it upon the rings and make it like, like all this tear, them. All right, me, they do that one time. 
25 cents. Who did they find the 25 cents? You see it? No, we need to go back to school. Watch it now. Who did they find the 25 cents? Why are you using 25 cents? Or at least you depend on one side. So who depend on the other side? You don't know. <laughs> right. You know, so they put, you, you know, take it over money, then put it up, you know, because every one of the money have different colour, you know. And we make it feel like there's a nice thing, but American money does have one colour, green. You can't make no mistake unless the number in it. Now them bring out one now, five thousand dollar bill, it look like a five hundred dollar bill. You ever take it out and like your money? They say, wait, wait, you know what are they? A five thousand dollar bill that. Yeah. And then put a man put it when they, when they talk about him not like black. See, when they sang star, and a sang star, um, Shira. A Shira, they ban all of the black book them in Jamaica, you know. Sure. Mm -hmm. And him, they ban the book them, you know. May I tell you that, you know. He was the blackest prime minister at the time when he did it, and he ban all of the book them. Malcolm X book. Walter Rodney book, all of the book them, and him did ban them. You ever hear about Black Beauty? Yeah. You ever read Black Beauty in your school? It's about an ass man. Yeah. All that him banning and never ever realized it. <laughs> you never realized it. It have nothing to do with Black Beauty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Black Beauty. Yeah. No, but it's him, but them put him on the, the $5,000 bill. And the highest denomination that where them have. Mm -hmm. So them gonna go make a ten thousand dollar bill now. The money I get less or less when you see them as that, you know. That means they two see them get you that day. Hundred dollar. And the fifth dollar note making them sell them all get you that. Fifty dollar. Who they pay the fifty dollar note? Who they pay the fifty dollar note? Who they pay the fifty dollar note? This is serious. <laughs> this is serious. No, you are no. No, you are no. We need to have a class together. Matrix. Matrix. May you need to have a class to study Jamaican money and coins and remember who they put the kind them. Because if I look up, they were asking that I tell them, Dad, I never know what's idiot. No, but me don't want them no more than me. <laughs> me don't want them no more than me at all. Me not about to not tell them no more than me there for you. No, sir. No, sir. Me must know more than them. They are longer than them. I have more experience and everything. I make, I make all up more money than them. Me, me make me start all up some money. <laughs> That's it. Too much five thousand dollar bill. Can... Yes, I true, you know. We need some people. Yes, I true. All right, so we, 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 we cover that then. Marcus Garvey, they found the $20 kind. All right. And them now get you that $20 kind. So what the bridge in carry is easy. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> well, it have me giddy a while ago, though. Trust me. It have me giddy rasta. Because you still think about them kind of now. Me not look on them, you know. No, because a man just say, give me change. I have one little pouch, I don't throw it in there. All right, now I can't part it, so I don't throw it. Why don't put the cup there, I don't throw it in there. Yeah, yeah. And some man, time, some man now stop me, you know. He push me to me, say, why am I there? I don't know how to I don't know how to do it. So, yeah, I don't know how to look at it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I have foreign money in there, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have 25 cents, the one thing, yeah. Ah, yes, sir. That was a exercise in stupidity. <laughs> uh, it's a, uh, I believe you. Be. Hmm? Look here. I don't care who they put the body them. From it can't speak. <laughs> From it have a value. And it can't satisfy what I want to do. I will forever spend it. You understand? Trust me. But that means that Marcus Gavin is upon the lowest. They don't want them, my brother, to tell me so they put Marcus Gavin upon the lowest, lowest money. Because you, know you have five cents and you have ten cents. 
And they have the one dollar. Yeah. The little file, file one. What's the one dollar that? Oh. Which one of them are the one dollar? The, the dollar them are the all the time copper. No, them not have oh, the copper one them are one dollar. So the little the little money. The See there? Hey, matrix. Matrix. Bridget, talk to me, our man. Because Matrix has told me that. He must say the little shine one, them a one dollar. Boss. Bracha, man. That money has suffered more than you, you know. Him know the kind of them. Look here. Matrix. Your brethren is not as rich as you. Him, him, him have to deal with kind, so him know. Just listen to what him I say. You have a one dollar kind, a little, one little, little kind, like the one cent American one cent. We have some edge, don't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the pan a kind there? No edge. Who the pan a kind there? Who the pan a kind there? I think. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Did. <laughs> no, this is serious. <laughs> Bridget, <laughs> shut your mouth, now, man. <laughs> Two your mo- dollar peer, peer, paper money. Yeah. <laughs> Bridget, <laughs> Matrix. Matrix. Your bridge you no know, angle paper money, you know. It's <laughs> so if no way but say your bridge you don't angle paper money. <laughs> if no if paper money don't come in a film life at that. Yeah, look, 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 look. See there? Eh? At the one dollar this. Who the pan it? Let me see who the pan. <laughs> oh, I bust the pan it, man. See one dollar. Alexander yeah. Buster man to the pan it, man. See there? Eh? You can't be able to see you. No, but I should you say. A one dollar. See it? He don't know the money there. He don't angle the money there. See it? I don't angle them neither. One dollar there. If this job for me, I don't know to pick it up, you know. <laughs> if this job for me, I don't know. All right. I learned something that Busta Monte is on the one dollar. Norman Manley is on the five dollar. Um... Marcus Garvey, they pay the $20. Who they pay the $10? No, man, Buster, they pay the $1, man. See the $1, man. Buzz, we're going to take up your whole time and talk about the money. And who they pay which money and who they pay the money. George, 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 but I don't understand how Shira reach a five thousand dollar. Maybe I try all anybody I use it. <laughs> Maybe I try, come take back your one dollar for me. Cause we don't want it. Trust me, we don't want that. Let like me a suffer, man. So we don't want to feel so. I hope this you find it. I hope this you go find. I input it up there. No, can walk over there and take it out. No, serious. No, maybe search up there, search up the bridging. We can't go to find Willie Pabor, what you have to search up there. Any paper money up there? No, All right. All right, let's stop boring the people them. <laughs> I'm bored, we are boring the people them with, with lack of understanding about our Jamaican currency. Gone, me gone, you know. I'm going to go with this.